My name's Wolf Lorien. I'm a practicing artist and a teacher and I'm going to be doing a charcoal and chalk drawing based on a medieval theme. I've just got plain cartridge paper here taped down onto the board and uh, now I've just got some compressed charcoal and a blade there and I'm just going to scrape some of the dust from this charcoal onto the paper. So everything you do has to be dark. But in this drawing, I want to be able to work on a medium tone and then that way I can bring in the light towards the end. So I'm going to tilt up my board. So first off, I'm going to uh, work out where I might want this arch to be and I'm basing it on a certain type of medieval arch or that you find in the abbeys of uh, Lochray and in a lot of the walled towns. And I'm just using a plain willow charcoal for this and the benefit of this is you don't have to be fussy over what you're drawing. When I first started drawing or started teaching drawing most people fuss far too much over their first line and in fact that's a line you should worry least about. Uh, charcoal like this, if I don't like a line I brush over it and it's gone. And I'm just trying to work out where the sections of the wall were here. So these windows were split into three sections. The uprights, there we go, and I'm just working out where the outer edge of that would be now and I'm actually going to have some undergrowth in on the side here because the shadow will work really well. So that's my rough sketch with the willow. I'm going to start off now by bringing in some of the areas where it's going to be darkest. So I'm just darkening where you can see the inner wall through the arches. That's that. I'm going to darken the edge here. And this is just compressed charcoal, so it's quite a hard, strong charcoal, and when you smudge it, it's going to be there for good. The deep shadows are amongst the most important. You can't do this kind of work and stay clean. Um, so I'm just going to mark in where his fingers might be. So one thing I'm just going to start to do, because at the moment I'm all working in very dark areas. I'm just going to get the beginning of a sky put in here. And again, just a putty rubber. You can knead that into whatever shape you want. So here I'm just going to use a putty rubber and any bits that I leave with the grey become clouds. And again, I can soften things down slightly just by running over it. I can bring that white back in later on if I need to. So I want to get some of the suggestion of the stonework in here. So I'm just going to use this. Drawing hands in many ways is actually harder than drawing faces. So the thing you do is you break it down just into the digits and I'm actually fading away some of that. I'm going to get the bow here. Actually, I'm gonna draw it with the charcoal first. That will be easier for me and it's something which will disappear the minute I want it to disappear. I'm actually going to use the edge of this because it's stronger. I'm just going to strengthen that line as much as I can. That's it. Okay and texture to his hair there. That's the end result, that's an hour. Uh, it's only charcoal and a rubber for the most part. It's great fun to do. Uh, you know, not to worry too much about it, give it a go and uh, practice makes perfect, you just keep drawing.